In this video, I'm going to talk about three projects I'm very bullish on in the bear market. I think at the end of this bear market, when we hit the next bull market, this is where the five to 10 to 50 X gains could come from. These are my three projects I think will, that can survive a three year, even a four year bear market. So that's why I'm really buying more of these and really not selling these at all. So the first project is Doodles. So Doodles right now has a 13.5 Ethereum floor, around $27,000. It was up to 75K, it's obviously down, but we also had the duplicator airdrop, which is worth another 6K each per duplicator. So overall still holding some good value. Um, but I do think that with Doodles, we just have to be very bullish because of a few reasons, right? So first of all, the Doodles team is just absolutely mind blowing, right? These guys have been around since 2017. Um, they worked on CryptoKitties. They have been basically their OGs in the space. If you guys know CryptoKitties, it was essentially the first NFT collection to really go big. It kind of congested up Ethereum completely. It's a huge part of Ethereum history. And that's the same team that built Doodles, right? So they have a really long history in the space. And in fact, I would say other than Larva Labs, they're probably one of the most OG NFT creators, but the difference between Larva Labs and Doodles um, and the Doodles team is that the Doodles team is actively working on Doodles and they're very committed to the long-term vision. They're very excited about this. While Larva Labs was always more of an experimental like kind of studio, right? Like they built these experiments and they weren't really trying to create these kind of mass brands. Um, they weren't really trying to create these mass media brands. So with the Doodles team, they're also fully doxxed. So if you look them up, uh, I think Evan Keast is one of them. Um, Bo Burnt Toast is the artist, his name is Caught in real life, but you can find their information, they're all over the place, on podcasts, everywhere. Now, one of the reasons I'm really excited about Doodles is they're really focused on taking NFTs mainstream, right? And onboarding millions into the ecosystem with Doodles. So their new drop duplicator, which was a free to claim kind of um, basically airdrop, is essentially it's at a three ETH floor price, but I think it has something to do with it. And I, you know, a lot of speculation has it that this will allow you to kind of create new doodles based on different traits and you know some sort of royalty sharing. Um, but basically they want to make doodles into a collection that a lot of people can get into while providing value to the original OG holders. So I'm not sure exactly what the game plan is, but the duplicator has something to do with it. So the second reason uh, that I'm really bullish on doodles is because they just hired the ex-president of billboard julian Hogan, as their new partner and ceo so julian Hogan, basically i don't know if i'm saying his name right um has worked in the media industry for many years worked in kind of like brand management artist management and just has an incredible level of connection in the space because he runs billboard right like billboard is one of the biggest ips in the media space when it comes to entertainment and covering movies. So you obviously know about the Billboard Music Awards, etc. cetera. Um, so they basically hired somebody with massive entertainment industry experience and incredible connections to be the CEO of Doodles, to build this with them. So I do think that they have a great game plan to take Doodles mainstream, right? They obviously have this whole aspect of basically taking Doodles uh, mainstream with the duplicator and you know essentially allowing other people to join in um, and onboarding maybe hundreds of thousands into the space, but they also have plans from what I understand to really integrate into music, TV, movies, who knows, right? But the hiring of the guy who used to run Billboard means that they're definitely trying to break into the mainstream. Now, not to also mention their recent collabs with Shopify at South by Southwest. So had, they had this incredible kind of in-person Activision that people really raved about. And it also uh, turned into something where, you know, basically they integrated with so Shopify um, and essentially you would have like this whole experience where if you had a doodle in your wallet, you could like buy different um, kind of basically collectibles, right? So it was a really interesting idea, but I do think that Doodles is going to be at the forefront of combining NFTs with e-commerce. So what I think might happen is you might have actual Doodles collectibles coming out that are going to be scaled out to the mainstream. I think they're going to potentially look at the toy, toy side of things as well. So there's some big possibilities there, right? Like they literally collaborated with Shopify, the world's biggest e-commerce kind of provider in terms of you know providing the CMS for e-commerce. Um, 
and Shopify is very bullish on Web3. So I do see some incredible innovation coming out of whatever Shopify and Doodles work on together. Hopefully it wasn't a one-off collab, but knowing do the Doodles team, I think there's gonna be some interesting stuff happening with either collectibles, toys, or NFT enabled e-commerce, right? Now, that's why I'm bullish on Doodles. I have one, I want to keep buying more if I can. So hopefully later this year, I will buy another. Now, the other project I'm really bullish about is Meta Angels. So I covered them in the previous video uh, where I talked about the project, but really what I'm bullish on them about is their Angel Labs initiative, which is a Web3 accelerator. So what Angel Labs is, is basically they take projects, help them through the whole process of you know, bringing their NFT product to life. And they've been working with some interesting projects in their first batch. Um, I would highly check them out at Angel Labs io you can see the projects they're working with they all look pretty awesome they're very unique and very new um, in terms of just new innovative ways to use nfts and as of this point they're incredibly cheap buy at 0.194 ethereum i think the cool thing about angel labs is it's a real revenue stream for meta angels because angel labs essentially takes 7 to 11 percent off the mint of these projects so this is a big revenue source that will make sure the lights stay on at Meta Angels, even if secondary volume is low. I mean, the Meta Angels team already has a lot of reserved funds to go through a bear market, but the fact that they have this accelerator that's going to be just funding them. And then also the fact that Angel Labs will bring more attention to Meta Angels because you know Meta Angels holders will get priority access in terms of whitelist and so on for these new projects that are coming out of Angel Labs. So. That's like a huge efficiency improvement and a huge value add to Meta Angels holders. But then also Angel Labs benefits from Meta Angels doing better because Meta Angels is what provides Angel Labs with the credibility and the lead flow for new projects to come in. So this Web3 Accelerator program is probably the best I've seen of any project. I know a few have tried to create launchpads slash accelerators, but this is the one where they have legit connections, legit skills and it just blows my mind how professionally they're running it. We actually applied for this for our project as well. We were very impressed by the whole interview process. Now, the third project is Shadowy Super Coder DAO. So this is a Solana infrastructure project. There's the 160 sole floor price right now. And essentially what they do is as of this point, they're an RPC node infrastructure provider and you get half of their, um, the half of their token supply is emitted to NFT holders, right? So you can buy one of these and you're going to essentially earn the shadow token. It's emitted over a 12 month period. So it doesn't um, basically just flood the market with tokens. But what's interesting with the shadow NFT is that essentially you can buy most of these and th most of them had like 80% of their token emissions still waiting to be collected, right? So uh, you're essentially collecting their utility token with these NFTs. Now, why is that useful, right? So they're essentially providing a technical service, which is RPC node infrastructure for Solana projects. So every single Solana NFT project uses that, but that is just one part of their ecosystem because they're releasing two new products, right? The first product is Shadow Drive, which is a decentralized storage mechanism. Again, the Shadow token will be used to kind of store files long-term. And then obviously if you have the shadowy supercoder DAO, NFT, you get the token at a discount as compared to just buying the token on the market. It's around like a 20% discount as compared to just buying it on the market. And then the other piece of the puzzle is ShadowNet, which is essentially, um, it's way too complicated for me to even explain it properly, but what they're going to be able to do is create kind of like test nets of Solana, like kind of duplicate um, blockchains that for testing purposes, or even like if you want to have like a secure environment to test something that's not on the main blockchain, you can do that. So that's again, an interesting infrastructure project. Now, admittedly, I'm not super technical, but from what I've read, I've been very impressed. Um, their founder, Frank is fully doxxed and, you know, he's been on many podcasts and shows. And whenever I hear him talk, I'm very convinced that these guys know what they're doing. And the economics are so good because they're fully community funded. They didn't really raise any VC funding. They sold an NFT to launch their RPC node kind of business. And then those NFTs were sold for like a few soul and now they're 160. But the upside is so much more because there's the problems they're tackling are really big problems. So 
I do think getting into this ecosystem is really, really interesting. I think a lot of people sleep on shadowy super coder DAO just because it's very technical and hard to understand, but I also think that's why it's still undervalued. You can see there's only 18 listed. There's 10,000 of them. There's only 18 listed. Most are staked, which is why this is inaccurate because this does not include staked NFTs. So literally 98% of NFTs in the shadowy super coder DAO ecosystem are staked right now. That's how much belief people have in them. Um, so I do think these guys are one of Solana's top plays. So I'm going to keep trying to pick one more up. I have one already and I've been very happy with, uh, with that. So guys, those are my top three projects for the bear market. So one of them is Doodles, which is trying to really take NFTs mainstream and they have the team and experience to do that. The other is Meta Angels, which has an innovative business model with the Web3 aspect. Uh, so the second project is Meta Angels, which has an innovative revenue stream with their accelerator, as well as the fact that they have an incredible community and great way of just, you know, encouraging community members to basically help each other through their lending program, through their wishing well, et cetera. And then the last project is Shadowy Super Coder DAO, which is a more, much more technical project, but it's, I feel like it's one of those projects where uh, there's massive upside potential and there's such strong faith in them from Solana developers, from the Solana ecosystem. Uh, I have friends who are very technical who have developed NFT projects on Solana and they all really love this project because you know they are coders and programmers and they say that the service that Shadowy Super Coder DAO, their company, Genesis Go provides is just very, very good. So guys, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what your top conviction plays are and what other projects I should cover. Thanks again for watching.